Welcome back adventurers to The Witcher 3. We are about to feel evil's soft first touches. But Your before we do so, we have to meditate until midnight to meet Master Mirror. Let's do that. There we go. Uh-oh. That can't be good. Ooh. That's just a guard dog from the village. Where is he? I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay Debts of gratitude. Humans, elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your theories? Um, I'm not a rotten scoundrel. You didn't help me, Storm did. I was counting on more conven conventional help. You summoned that storm, your mage? Um... Yeah? You appeared out of nowhere, disappeared just as mysteriously, summoned a storm. Let me guess. You're a mage. Oh, please, no. I cannot stand spells. Childish hocus pocus. It's just not interesting. What I find fascinating are true tales, true human lives, like the one I shall tell you now. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Really think this will interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Ever. He wasn't that bad a man, was he? I mean, we did that contract. And that's pretty much it. Don't know why he's on your shit list, but I've got no quarrel with him. I believe you do, but have yet to realize it. Olgier von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. Now the time's come to pay, yet he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant. But make no mistake. Many interesting wares on offer. So wares like surfeit, abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you've dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. But above all. True adventure. An experience like no other. The fate of only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. I'm 
always honest and uh, I don't want any of these things but I'm down for adventure <laughs> because everything else I can buy and I'm agile enough hmm what did you do for old Geard? break him out of a cell too in some sense yes I remember that day quite well it was a light drizzle yet the cold tore right through you all gear had appeared at the break of dawn, gaunt as a rail, his shirt moth-eaten. Seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help, and help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me. Sends me off when I dare ask for payment. Even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. He can cast a storm or whatever he did, but he cannot kill that man by himself? That's weird. <laughs> huh. How much does he owe you? Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? It's I'm no crowns. usurer to lend coin for yeah. interest. No. What Allgeard owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. What, his firstborn or what? <laughs> what is it? Know what? This business, it's between you two. Rather not get involved. Before you decide, please, hear me out. You shall see Allgeard as a vile man. Or, as they say in the West, a real son of a whore. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Yeah. Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick. Ah. But I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Mm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm -hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And, once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Holgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us. Yet, we won't know what they are until we see him. And... I have to make sure they're getting fulfilled. <laughs> uh, I don't think I have a choice. Uh, all seems a little shady. Your help, your pact with Olgeard, his three requests. Think it over. I agree you've no a priori reason to trust me. But, as it happens, I was in the right place at the right time to help you. And it's also the case that the same man has wronged us both. To my mind, those are reasons to work together. To my mind, not so much. Come with me to see Allgeard. You shall see he's a vile, dishonorable man who treats the lives of all folk like playthings, as he treated yours when he sent you to find the Frog Prince. We still don't know his side of the story. So yeah, let's... Uh go and find out, shall we? Fine. I'll go see Algeard with you, but no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Go. Of course. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. Ooh. 
He cannot be trusted. Hmm. But uh, yeah, I don't think we have a choice. Well, well, I think we go there directly. Question is uh, why are fast traveling or shall we ride? I mean, yeah, we could uh, fast travel. There's nothing on the way for us. So, yeah, well, let's go there. I don't know if we should maybe change up our armor, but that depends uh, where that leads to. We are at level 37, so we cannot wear the Ophiri set. I think it was 39, right? So we might not be able to wear it at all throughout that DLC. I mean, maybe we level up quickly once we are getting that main quest done or doing it by doing it we're leveling up quickly so that might be a possibility well oh i wanted to fast travel right <laughs> where's the marker somewhere in town here Okay, is he here? It's 3 a.m. Oh, I'm running in the wrong direction, of course. Wait, what? It's burning? Not a bad little band there, Witcher. Um. Did Blimey. you do that? Personally, I liked getting good and bollocks. Uh huh. Grub and hooch. Life in a nutshell. Okay. Why is it burning? Look who's here! The witch who with a stick up his ass! What's new? Got a growth on your platter there. You catch some kind of a theory pox? Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed? That? Alright. You know how it is. Feast drags home with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got a bit carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. Where's old Geard? Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! I ain't with you! Drank with you! Fought beside you! And you'd kill me now! I'm one of you! You might have been, but not no more you ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Um. Might not I mean that's kind of true, but uh, we want to know how, how these folks operate, right? Whoa, nerves a little raw. Why? You deaf. Get the fuck out of here, freak. All I want is to know what exactly is going on here. Well, you're not gonna know. Sod off. I'll leave as soon as you tell me. Aren't you a thorny prick up the ass? Ataman said to kill him! Got your answer, Abby? Now piss off. We've work to do. Hmm. <laughs> Wait. They don't I want know to talk. wants him dead. Still don't know why, though. Just what the fuck is it to you, anyhow? Nothing really. Just curious. Cocksucker violated our chivalric code. Just one penalty for that. Death. What is this row? 
Are you not done with him? My ears wither from the screams. <laughs> Ah, Geralt, as you've returned, might I assume you've cleared the sewers? Or have you not been there? You killed my father! Not I. You lie, whore son! That man killed him. Alone. Unbeknownst to me. Out of fury, for your father refused us hospitality. For this willful violation of the chivalry code, he was summarily executed himself. Anything else I might do for you? Take her away. Now, where were we? Necessary, that whole show. Ah, show? Come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. Dare say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. You know what this is? I cannot be certain. But I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. Chosen. I mean, it's kind of clear what's going on. The hearts of stone is meant literally, so he cannot die. Most probably was one of his wishes. Um, yeah. Where's the mirror man? Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If anything's left to chart, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open, and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gauntero did. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know, you first must... Grant you three requests, by proxy. I present to you my champion. Geralt of Rivia. Ugh. Let's play along. That true? You know the Toad was a cursed prince? He didn't just know. He brought about the curse himself. Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. Olgierd once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the Crown Prince of Ophir. Olgierd grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him. Then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life in a toad's bloated corpus. Yet, he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, Odin. Who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. Was that the first wish? Then we have only two now, cool. right? Where to? The stables. My men are preparing to depart. Oof. The prince and toad. Hmm. Seems like a private spat on me. Rather not get involved. I think we already are involved. There's no denying that. What he said about the prince. That true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. 
Or perhaps the Afiri Dofa ate something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah, uh, I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollered the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. Uh huh. I mean, putting myself in danger as a witcher is just daily occurrence, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> what, what should that be? What kind of question? Because, I mean, of course, it was dangerous to hunt down a monster. But I think he means um, that afterwards the Ophirius had captured him. So yeah, we could ask that. Could have told me the truth about the toad. Having a bit of fun at my expense. I simply wanted the beast dead. I could not know you would respond to the notice. Pure coincidence. Yeah, I must admit when you, a witcher, answered the call, I thought it right. It's what you lot are trained to do. Might have been able to lift the curse. Perhaps, perhaps not. Then again, why bother? He was a human being. That bloody Ethere mutt was no human. His kind does not deserve to live. Hmm. Okay, let's get on with it. Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bosoli. His house? So surprised. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses. You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out of my sight, wretch. Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old, but his mount always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him and show him the time of his life. My second request. Fine, seems easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then we shall speak of the third. A house and a party. I can do that. <laughs> Any hints? Where I should go? How I might start? You must be mad. I've no intention to make things easier for you. Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there. Brother shouldn't be too hard, but the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. Uh huh. You waited for me. Nice of you. I could hardly abandon my proxy to the whims of fate. Thought I have to fulfill Olgierd's wishes myself. So states the contract. Yet nowhere does it forbid me from providing help. And something tells me you'll need quite a bit to complete the first two tasks. Hmm. Borsodi's house. No idea how I'm supposed to bring him that. Ooh. The only Borsodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenfurt. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Give it to me. <laughs> Olgierd's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. Oh. 
Uh, never agreed to necromancy. Necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Besides, I need the blood of the summoned. Blood. True. Of the summoned, not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt. Geralt. Geralt, aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be von Everett blood and get on with it. Hmm. Where'll I find this Vladimir? Geralt, I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Shani. What she's got to do with that? Uh, guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Say I need help. Where'll I find you? I shall find you. He's gone. Good luck, Geralt. Ooh. What did, did we get into here? Oh man. Gone through all dim. Oh man. Let's see if we can take something. <laughs> He said we can take everything. Oh gosh, that beautiful house. There is nothing left. Hmm. Yeah even locked well what's in there locked too huh what a bummer okay okay got it so a date men's party. We do that first, it seems. Yeah. Open sesam. Yeah, I think that uh, indicates what we should do first, level-wise. And uh, I fear that we overleveled these quests quite a bit already, so maybe we don't get as much um, XP as we would like to. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. If we can wear that Ophiri armor anytime soon. Okay. Talk to Shani about the Van Everick family crypt. Where might Shani be? In Oxenford, right? Yes, she is. Do we have to do anything? I do not think so. Here's the Van Everick estate. So they just partied in Garin's estate because they didn't want to burn down their own. I didn't know that they actually have an own estate, but hey, they do. So why don't we go to the Western Gate? And uh, I will end the episode here in between I think I'll go to the blacksmith and play Quent with him because I haven't played him yet and we're missing I think two cards or something. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, not books. Where's my... oh gosh. <laughs> um, wait, wait, wait. Got it. My Quent book. Number of new cards with the camera. Four. We're missing four cards. And uh, I think I know two. Maybe I also play against that herbalist that I know of. And then I'll see you in the next one, either at Chani's place or here. So yeah, 
thank you so so much for watching this episode uh, have a wonderful and adventurous day and goodbye